That was awesome. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Woo! Good girl. Okay, well, another new day and another new spot. Um, trying a spot uh, I've never been to and got here by boat. So I'm hoping maybe there's a little less traffic here. Um, the cover doesn't look awesome yet. Um, it looks a little thin and kind of beat down, but um, I know this area holds birds, so they're probably here. They just might be might be a little harder to get to hold and work for the dog, but um, Tuppy's out there, so usually if uh, if they're out there, he'll find them. We'll see. So when we first start getting into birds, Tubbs actually bumps a couple of cubbies, which is really unusual for him. I mean, it just doesn't really happen. But then he comes running right up next to me and slams on point. So I go way out in front of them to try to pinch the birds between us. And I'm walking around, walking around, walking around and nothing. Then I decide, well, I'll just start heading right back up towards Tubbs. And the birds come up like right in front of them. Oh, I walked around those birds. I can't believe it. Tubby, dead bird. I can't believe I walked around those birds. Tubby, dead bird up here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Who's? Oh, he wasn't. Uh, he wasn't quite dead yet. So those birds worked for us. That was cool. Now Tubbs is on point up this little ridge here, and the birds start coming out to the left and to the right. Damn it. Dead bird, Tubby. Tubby. Tubby, dead bird over here. Dead bird. You're standing on it, dude. Atta boy, come here. Good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's what we're supposed to do. I thought I only hit the one, but Tubbs found me another one. I must have dropped one of those. Good boy, Tubby. Good boy. Good boy, buddy. Good job. Good job. All right. Good boy. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that. I didn't even know it went down. After a couple more bumped coveys, Tubbs gets some more locked down. Kind of warm today, isn't it, buddy? Well, it's been kind of tough today. I don't think we've had the best scenting conditions for some reason. Tubbs has bumped a ton of birds today. I mean, a ton. So, either he's completely off his game, like to the point of being a totally different dog, or the scenting conditions are pretty rough. And maybe it's both. I mean, Moxie is in full-blown heat in the kennel right next to his. So, he may be a little out of sorts, but 
yeah he hasn't put up birds like this maybe ever in his life so i don't know we got a few birds though got a few to hold got a few points then we get some nice work here to end the day on Good boy, Tubby. Come here. All right, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Got it. dead bird. Dead bird. He's gonna have to be in the scree to smell it, which is he's not gonna want to be. Tubby, come on, down here. Dead bird. You got a whiff. Good boy. Good boy, Tubbs. I'll come over there. Come here. Yeah, come on, bud. Good boy. Ow. Shit. Tubby, come here. Good boy, buddy. Oh, shit. Oh, good. Hey, hey. This is a young group. Awesome. Good job, buddy. Good work. These birds are not wanting to cooperate, but those did. That was great. I think he cut them off. They were, they were trying to run up the hill. And uh, he kind of cut them off by pointing them. So I made him stop. It worked out well. So even with Tubbs a little distracted and a bit off his game, that turned out to be a pretty nice day and that was definitely a nice way to end it. Now Moxie and I are going to hop in the boat and check out a new spot I had picked out. Okay, we have landed. Never been here before, have no idea if there's birds here or not, but we're going to give it a go. Um, this one's going to be, I mean, obviously we're starting at the bottom because we're at the water. So we got a fair amount of climbing to do. Uh, I think we got to go about 1500 feet at least. So lots of climbing, uh, it'll probably be kind of boring here at first. Uh, mostly just climbing, um, kind of up this valley here to get some elevation, maybe get into where I think we might find some birds. So we got Moxie on the ground today and we'll, we'll get after it. We aren't too far into the climb here, and Moxie goes on point in this little valley. That's a rough grouse. Well, that was a surprise because I knew rough grouse were here, but I had no idea they'd be at such a low elevation. I don't know if I hit it or not. Easy, easy, dead bird, dead bird. Well, Moxie and I looked for a good while, but we didn't find any trace of it, so I must have missed. But it was pretty cool just to see one. I guess we're hopefully over halfway up by now. I'm trying to get up to those tops right there. Not those tops, but those tops. So I think, I think we're over halfway there. Okay, now my GPS is telling me that Moxie's on point again. So I make my way over to her, and it takes a few minutes, but 
I get to where I feel like I'm just straight down the hill from her, but I can't see her. I keep making my way up the hill here, and I keep checking my collar, and at this point it says near, which means I'm really close. But I still haven't seen her yet. And now I've got this big rock in front of me, and so I'm trying to decide which side of it I need to go around, because it could totally block a shot from one side or the other. one down right there. As you might expect, as I'm peeking my head around one side of this rock, it pops out the other. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> I had to come across the other side of that rock to get it. Had a girl. Good girl, Mox. Over here, darling. Oh shit. Ah. Yeah, that's my girl. Come here, darling. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Good job. Good job, baby. Give. Good job. Oh, you held that one forever. You, she was straight up when I got the point signal. I was down there. Uh, no, I was. Hell, I was over there. I was over on that other ridge when I got my point signal. So, it took me, <laughs> I don't know how long. Hoo-wee. I like it. Good job, baby. I'm just trying to give you a little bit of idea of the scope and scale of these hunts. So, we started, you know, way down there at the water. And we have climbed all the way up here, um, probably about 2,000 feet of elevation gain. And now I'm thinking I'm going to go down along this ridge and hunt that, that kind of semi-flat area right there. And then I'm going to come back down the front of this face to lose elevation and zigzag my way back down the valley, back down to the boat. So it's... <laughs> it's a lot. Um, it's you know it's all day. You you pack some food. You pack some water. You pack some survival gear in case you need it. Um, you know not every hunt is quite as long as this one maybe, but um, I don't know. It's, it's a challenge, but it's it's also just a great adventure. Every day is kind of an adventure. So. Okay, we've got another point here, and Moxie is sort of over to my right. I am making my way down the hill, staying out of sight of wherever she is and wherever I think the birds she's pointing are, because that'll present me with the best shots. So now I've walked out in front of her a bit, and it seems like the birds are a ways off. So I have her relocate. Okay. Ah, ah. Shh. Shh. Easy. Easy. So now I know there's clearly birds here, but they're below me. And so I decide to kind of reset again, go back out wide, and try to come in from underneath them yet again. Now again, I'm below her here and I really feel like I got the drop on them now. I can't see them, but I know they're right in front of me. <laughs> and a girl! <laughs> yeah, baby, woo! Good girl! Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, there's nothing better than that. Nothing better. 
Here. Give. Thank you, baby. <laughs> oh, that was good work, baby. That worked perfect. Dead bird. Dead bird out there. Dead bird. I love it when a plan comes together. Dead bird. Good girl. Good girl. Here. Good girl. Here. Give. Good job, baby. Woo wee. Good job. Good job. Kind of need to get rid of that little bark, though. I don't think that's going to help us any. Another thing that I should share with you is just how long these sequences are between like when the dog goes on point and when I tend to get with them. Usually the dog is, you know, anywhere from 80 to two, 300 yards away at least. Um, and in this country, it takes a long time to go a hundred yards. Um, so the part you don't see that I edit out of every video, cause I don't want to bore you with my huffing and puffing and um, the slow drudgery of getting to a dog on point. Um, you know, it is, is all the time it takes. And just, that's another thing about this. It's why it feels like such, such an accomplishment when you, when you do it, because this whole process, I mean, between when she went on point and when I got that bird in my hand, that was probably a good 15 minutes. Um, and sometimes it's much longer than that. Uh, even to when I got to the dog, it was still minutes later before I even got the flush because it takes me forever to go out and around and try to get down below the birds. And then, you know, that time I relocated her. So there's just a lot that goes into this that you don't kind of, you don't quite see in the video. But, um, but that's, that's why I get so amped about this. It's just such an accomplishment. It just does. Every time you get one, it just feels like a trophy. I would take one chucker here for 10 somewhere else on flat ground. I just would. I don't know. I guess I'm crazy, but that's just the way I feel about it. Okay, darling. I'm coming. Okay, here's just a couple minutes later here. This is an example of what I'm talking about. Moxie's on point about 250 yards down there. Now you can't tell, but this is probably a 35 to 40 degree slope. So I'm going to be going down almost as much distance as I'll be going horizontal. Uh, so it takes a while to do that. It's slow, even downhill, it's slow. So anyways, it's gonna be a while before I get there. We'll see what happens when I do. Okay, so this is several minutes later because I have gone down past the dog and now I'm coming up to where I think the birds are from underneath. You can just barely see Moxie up the hill here. Oh, I should have had another one easy. Oh my God, look at all the birds. Oh my God, look at all these birds. Holy crap, there was a bunch of birds. Moxie, 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 dead bird. Dead bird over here. Dead bird. Give. Thank you. Holy crap, dude. There were a ton of birds. I mean, they came off of this peak and uh, this peak in a distance. I mean, probably 40 anyway. That was freaking awesome. I should have had a double easy, but uh, somehow I whiffed on that second one. I just saw another one come off the hill. Better get up here. Maybe there's more. Easy girl. It's a tricky spot. Oh, 
Okay, Moxie's on point again here, and it appears that she's pointing right down this rocky spine, this rocky formation right in front of me. And it's tall enough that I can't see from one side to the other. So if birds come up on one side and I'm on the other, no shot. So I decide the best thing to do is to just climb right up this spine. And of course it doesn't really come through on the video, but this is extremely steep, so it's pretty slow going. I end up getting really close to these birds. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. It's dead right there. Jesus. Oh my god, this was an amazing spot. I had a freaking rock climb to get up here. Oh my god. I seriously, I had to put my gun down to even crawl up this freaking rock face. She was on point right on this rocky spine thing that's running down this. Oh my god, that was so freaking cool. <laughs> okay, that bird's dead. We gotta go get it. Got a mark on it. It's right there. She has no idea where it went, so I'm gonna have to go show her. Holy sh dude. They came up in my face. They were right here. Oh my God, that was so badass. Good job, Mox. Oh my God, now I gotta get down this thing without busting my ass too. It's always easier going up. Oh sh Good girl here. Yeah, it was still, still alive a little bit. Whew, she had to go a lot farther than I thought. She got it. Give. Give, give. Good job, baby. Woo. <laughs> that was a tough one. She had to come way down the hill to get that one. And it, it went, I don't know, 100 yards past where I thought it landed. So it went a while. Good job, baby. Good job. Turned into a hell of a day. Hell of a day. Crazy rock formations here. Oh. Unfortunately, I uh, burned up my only GoPro battery today. Somehow I left camp without my extra batteries. And so now the only footage you'll see will be on cell phone. And you probably won't see any flushes or anything, any of the good stuff. Holy crap. Um, I didn't realize that. I just walked up on a massive cliff here. Ooh. Holy crap. I'm going that way. Oh, man. This place is nuts. Moxie's got something. I am stoked. Just shot a double, and that makes our limit for the day. Uh, I showed you Moxie on point there, um, and that caps off an awesome day. My goodness, this has been a good day. I'm gonna get to uh, get her on these retrieves here. Good girl, darling. Give. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Oh, he's alive. He's got a little bit of life in him. I'll take care of that here real quick. Hate that I couldn't get that flush on video, but it's all right. This has been a pretty epic day. You know, it's been pretty special from the start. You know, we were coming up this hill, uh, coming up this valley. We found our first ever rough grouse in this area. Um, 
So that was cool. Too bad we didn't get one, but hey, it's just cool to see him in here. Um, and then Moxie just goes on a tear, points a ton of birds, and we get tons of great dog work, and the birds worked for us. So it's one of the many reasons that I come to places like this that are hard to get to, that are, you know, take a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of energy. Um, it's, it's for that dog work. I mean, eight birds over a, over beautiful points today. I mean, <laughs> oh, come on, man. It doesn't get better than that. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed this day. I mean, it just had everything that I looked for. I mean, it's got the adventure piece. It's got the dog work piece. It's got the birds and I actually shot decent. So it was just like, it was a perfect day. And believe it or not, I get one or two more of these on this trip. So be sure to check out the next episodes. If you're interested in getting more of this kind of content, you might want to check out my Patreon page. You can go to patreon.com and search for Eric Forrester, or you can click on the link in the description and get access to all that extra content. Woo! Holy crap, dude. Look at this. This is amazing. Kirby, you need to go a different way, buddy. No, go on. Uh, I think I can do this. I'm not much of a rock crawler. What a cool spot. <laughs>